Hello and welcome to my knife channel. Well, I finally got an American sunfish, an American made sunfish. And these are all my sunfishes here. And this is the new one R.W. Mitchell, USA. And it says. Manufactured by R.W. Mitchell & Sons since 1941. They do have a website. That website is still valid and active. Um, this one here comes with a certificate of authenticity. And it says, uh, This very limited edition M44 Sunfish pocket knife is from the sample factory run. The factory run will be 500 made knives made in all this has no tank stamp and only a very low number was made that way the factory one will have a tank stamp plus everything the knife has nickel silver ring bolsters first time ever with nickel sunfish shield on sunfish knife custom blade etch bone handles with abalone inlay brass pins and liners designed and made by rw mitchell usa it comes in with this little pouch here and here we have the knife. Got a nice little picture of a sunfish on there. Let me move these other guys out of the way. Yeah, move out of the way, y'all move. Um, nice little abalone inlay there. Let me zoom this up a little bit so you can see better. I have noticed one defect with this. If you can see it right now, I can see it. There's a crack goes all the way up here and into there I'm um, not gonna return it I'm gonna keep it as it it looks like it was there when the thing was made because they uh, they put the dye you know to make these these uh, cuts look darker and it took that dye so they knew about it and it's not a crack right around the pins itself but that's my uh, that's the only major defect that I can find on this one right now. Nice little pieces of abalone. This is jig bone here. And um, smooth bolsters. Let's look at the sunfish. No half stop. Um, about a five on the pull. Here it says one of 500. As you can see, this is probably not going to last if you use it a lot because... Part of that five is already gone. And, um, not a bad edge grind on it. You know, it would have been nice. They told us everything about it. They didn't even mention what steel is in here. Uh, so, I'm assuming it's stainless steel of some type. Mystery steel. Have a nice little pin blade here. They lock in solidly. Nice lock up. No no blade play or wiggle. Let me try this other one here, the main blade again. Yep. That's just the push down tension. It's not super strong on it. But yeah, it's a, it's a halfway decent little sunfish. Look, when he's upright, this guy's upside down. Now he's upside, right side up. Yeah, fairly fairly decent knife let's see um what his weight is it doesn't feel as heavy as the uh blue mule sunfish let me unzoom here all right we're in ounces 5.17 ounces Or 146.59 grams. Uh -huh. We have an overall length of about 10 and a half centimeters or four and a quarter inches. Main blade. About three inches overall, a little bit less, 
about two and three quarter inches in length and you've got about a two and a half inch cutting edge so you've got seven about seven centimeters overall length and about six sure my tip is right there six and a half centimeters long on the main blade the pin blade is about two inches with about an inch and three quarter cutting edge or about five and a half centimeters overall four and a half centimeters cutting edge fairly decent knife thin Fairly thin compared to these other ones. Let me see what our thickness is here. About a half inch or 13.3 millimeters. Let's see what this guy is. Yeah, 0.61. 0.58, that's the closest one. This guy's a fatty. 0.61. This guy's kind of fat too. He's really fat. 0.65. That's the fattest one. Fattest sunfish. Well, he's actually a sunfish elephant toe whittler. Got to have all those names to him. So, there you go. There's my first America-made um, sunfish. I can't really find a whole lot about this company. Um... I tried to look around on the forums and stuff, so I'll just take their word for it that they've been in business since 1941, according to their box. Um, yeah, since 1941. That might have been the guy's when he was born, you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty decent. You got a little bit of color in there on the abloh when you move it around. And that really, that's the only defect I can find on it, is that little bit of a crack. Uh, sunfish, America-made sunfish, uh, can cost you quite a bit of money. Even used. I've seen elephant toes and sunfish go for the hundreds of dollars, even up to a thousand or more on a used one. So, this one cost me about... $35, which was about what I paid for this one. And even though I like this one, this one has a lot more fit and finish issues than this one here. And I believe this one looks a little prettier. You know, I mean, this one still is pretty cool. This These deep grooves in it really give it you something when you feel it, when you hold it. So anyway, there's the sunfish slash elephant toe collection get them all in there all in one little little group picture here smile for the camera thank you for watching and have a nice day oh and i want to thank um knife detector for getting me back into sunfish again because i wouldn't have gotten all these without watching his video this was my only sunfish for the longest time and since it's really like a baby sunfish, I thought they were all going to be like this. And I thought, man, I don't want a bunch of these little tiny things. Mainly because this, this blade is fairly stubby, you know, for what you get. It'd be better if this thing was just a little bit longer. But anyway, I guess that's just a specialized thing. So thank you for watching and have a nice day.